United Nations peacekeepers in South Sudan have been urged to rededicate themselves to help achieve lasting peace and sustainable prosperity for the citizens of the Republic of South Sudan. Speaking at an event to mark the International Day of Peacekeepers, the United Nations missions in South Sudan, special representative of the Secretary General, Hilda Johnson said, peacekeepers played a crucial role in contributing to collective security and consolidation of peace. As we approach the first anniversary of South Sudan's birth as a sovereign nation, let us rededicate ourselves to achieving the lasting peace and sustainable prosperity that all South Sudanese yearn for and to which they have suffered for far too many decades. I stand before you as the head of new mission with its new mandate that is bringing a new approach to the needs and the challenges facing South Sudan. And I'm confident that together we shall overcome the many obstacles confronting this young country. South Sudan's Minister of Information, Dr. Barnaba Marial Benjamin, the UNMIS Force Commander, Moses B. Song Obi, Senior UNMIS Leadership, members of the diplomatic community and the UN country team attended the event. The Information Minister said that in the last 10 months since the mission was established and South Sudan became independent, relations between the two had been collaborative. There is no doubt that the people of South Sudan, Your Excellency, have confidence in UNMIS maintaining peace and security through its peacekeepers. Barnaba Marial saluted the thousands of peacekeepers serving in different missions all over the world, saying that peacekeepers in South Sudan had assisted in the monitoring exercise during the ongoing civilian disarmament in Jungle State led by South Sudan forces, SPLA. During the celebration, 47 Japanese officers were awarded medals. The Japanese troops are part of the 212th Strong Japanese Engineering Company serving the mission. Other troops at the ceremony include troops from Rwanda, India, Bangladesh and Cambodia. The celebration concluded with the martial arts and Japanese calligraphy show by the Japanese troops. UNMIS is authorized to deploy up to 7,000 military personnel and up to 900 civilian police personnel, along with an unspecified number of civilian staff members. This year's Peacekeepers Day pays tribute to 120,000 peacekeepers serving in 17 missions in some of the world's most volatile places.